with you. The old school. Babies look creepy. At least that doll does. <laughs> Tabby four. Sorry. The living quarters. Excuse me. Wrapped up in presents. Well, well, good to see you. Welcome to the old school and to the mid eighteen hundreds. I say that because this is how the nation's oldest wooden schoolhouse looked at that time, and our clothing is of that period. We was dressed this way in 1931 by <laughs> graduates of the class of 1864 during the class reunion. That's right, John. And they also decorated this little school the way they remembered it when they were here. As a matter of fact, on the back wall, there are some photographs of the class taken at that reunion and the class roll. The school itself was built sometime before 1763. During the first Spanish period. Very good, Johnny. The school is built of cypress and cedar with handmade nails and wooden pegs. This is the oldest wooden structure in St. Augustine, and it has never been reconstructed. The first pupils were Menorcan. They came here to learn English. Now we learn arithmetic and other stuff as well as reading and writing. Hmm. Some boys and girls learn their arithmetic, Johnny. Johnny did not do his homework. He hasn't learned his six times multiplication table, and that's why he's wearing the dunce cap. But, Professor, I had to chop wood last night to bring to school. I see. It costs twelve and a half cents a day for us to get our learning. If our parents don't have money, we bring wood for the fire or food for the professor and his family. And what do we call that kind of arrangement, Johnny? Uh, a uh, barter system? That's correct. Well, you do know your economics. However, you will wear that dunce cap until you learn your six times table. Boy, at this school talk fishing, I'd make it A easy. Young man, this is no laughing matter. Hold your tongue or you know where you'll go. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sometimes the children are unruly in class. Then they must spend time under the stairway there until they decide to behave. We call it the dungeon. <laughs> The stairs themselves are too old and narrow to allow visitors to go up safely, but there is a mirror so you can see how my wife and I live. While I strive to educate the children, my wife keeps busy with her duties upstairs in our living quarters or in the kitchen outside. She also takes care of the garden, which we hope you will visit. Well, you can now consider yourselves graduates of the old schoolhouse. Be sure to pick up your diploma as you leave. Can I get the diploma too, Professor? Well, I think you have a few years of school yeah. left, Johnny. But perhaps you can move up to work with the older, more advanced students soon and have your own quill pen. Wow! Thank you for coming to visit. Don't forget your diploma. And enjoy your stay in the nation's oldest city. Bye! conditioning spot. Children, children. Get under there so you guys can see that. Horn book. Old document. And that concludes the oldest school.